Hello, welcome to Floyd Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Airfix's 148 scale Bristol Blenheim. This is the Mark 1 F variant. So as we can see, usual stunning uh, box art uh, with these new um, digital, I think you call them, uh, artworks. Absolutely gorgeous as you can see running down near there. A couple of versions, so we've got the all uh, night version. Uh, it is technically a fighter or light attack aircraft, all right? So as you can see, some nice touches down in here as well. We can see it's got nice full interior. We've got a good turret detail as well. And it looks like we've got a detailed uh, undercarriage bay on there as well. So uh, as you can see, kit number for this one is a, uh, what are we, 09816. Okay, and then just around on the back here, we've got a couple of bits of information from there. So we've got number 23 squadron, uh, Wittering, uh, in February 1940. And we've got number 54, operational training unit, uh, or OT, uh, OTU, uh, which is uh, from Church Fenton, uh, North Yorkshire, in December 1940 as well. Again, this is brand new, unlooked at by me, to the point where it is still sealed. So it'll be interesting to have a look down in here and see what we've got. So, okay, usual airfix thing of sticking one. I'll do the job for them. One giant bag of screws, okay. And then down in here we've got the paintwork and the colour call out thing. That's it, that's what we want. And we want the decals out of the way as well. So, Airfix is normal. Uh, much improved, shall we say, uh, from perhaps what we've seen in the past. But generally, as we can see, the very nice things about these these days, obviously you've got the red parts, which are to draw your attention to that actual part, okay? And then obviously you've got down in here, depending if you're gonna be using them or not, in the green, okay? Something we saw with the Wellington as well. So it's not necessary to actually have this part on here. Okay, so basically we're starting down into the actual turret area working our way through so obviously into this one of the actual forward sections with the actual cockpit right the way through on there and then obviously mounting these two together and then we've got lots of internal detail which is going to be visible because there's quite a lot of glass work on this but it looks like we've got all the framing work all the parts down in here which is a very nice touch on this one indeed okay and then working our way down through the back so we've got the communications equipment down in there and then obviously fuselage halves coming together with that nice center section with the wing spars keeping it all apart working our way down to the wing so we've got the actual engine nacelles um, being put in for the actual undercarriage and then obviously the undercarriage if you're going to be having it stowed or down okay then we've actually got the actual undercarriage uh, sections itself with the actual front engine mounts uh, and all the framework that's in there again nice lot of detail down into these which is a really nice touch to see okay so those being fitted down into the actual wings and then obviously with the bulkheads firewalls things like this we've got a little spar system running down the back of the actual uh, flap system as well giving that a nice level of depth so hopefully we can have those shown open and can see quite a lot of detail down in these engines which is a nice touch with it Working our way down further, down to the back end, to the tail end, so we've actually got the horizontal uh, stabilizers, and we've got the rudder system and everything going down on there. The engine, again, nice level of detail right the way through by the looks of it. Exhaust being fitted on there and engine combing being fitted on this one. And then again, possibly if you can have it displayed open or closed, depending which way you want it. Uh, putting these ones in and again nice level of detail right the way through on that one as well so again it's nice to see that uh, airfix are taking the time to show us some of its gorgeous internals as well as the externals okay down onto the back again depending on how you're going to be having these you're going to be sounding these uh, if you're going to be having them closed or open for the actual flaps onto this one so if you're going to be doing, deploying them you're going to be wanting them showing them all out like this okay otherwise it means you have got to remove them if you're going to have it closed otherwise obviously it won't sound Sandwich together. Interesting. Okay, and then obviously down here we've actually got the gun system being fitted in there. Uh, if you're not doing the in certain parts again in green, okay, right the way through. Glass work on the top for the turret. Okay, and then obviously we've got the various things for the undercarriage being fitted. The actual um, I'd say different types of bottom as well. You can have the smooth or the gun port on there as well. So depending which one you want to have on there. All right. So those are quite uh, interesting options. Okay. Glasswork being fitted on there. Crew figure going in. The usual bits and pieces on the top there. It's a sliding open roof on this one. And then the propeller, pitot tubes uh, and things like that. And your normal aerials as you might imagine on there. Nav lights. All the good stuff on the outside. I said there's quite a lot of glazing on the front of this particular one. Okay. 
So, basically that means it's gonna show all the detail on the inside, which means you're not gonna be wasting your time with too much in there. As you can see, in the black, uh, pretty much standard right the way over this particular one, uh, as you can see, or you've got that standard uh, early uh, World War II with the black underside and the two-tone uh, brown and green on the top, okay? Pretty much standard Airfix call-out colours right the way through. Decals looking very nice, I have to say. It's one of those things Airfix have improved over the years. When you see the quality of the printing, they are good, solid colour these days. Uh, you can probably see they're catching it in the light there, how nicely printed they are. And also the thing is I love about Airfix decals now is it's a minimal amount of carrier film. Okay, there's hardly any on the radiuses. And even down in here, you can probably see catching it in the light is a good way of showing it how the, the nine and the six have got some holes in there where it's not necessarily needed. The rest of it obviously would be to hold it together, but some parts don't have them. So if I can get this to come off the light, there we go. You see how the P on the top and the Q's got no, I think, in there at all. Very, very nice. Good, good quality decals now coming out of Airfix, which I must admit, if you'd asked me 20 years ago, <clears throat> I might have laughed. Okay, so one giant bag, get rid of that. And then in here we have all our parts. Okay, so we've got a load of clear parts there. So, starting uh, straight down in here, as you can see, we've actually got the main fuselage halves. There is a little bit of a texture to it, and it is a shame we don't sort of have any uh, more detail on the halves. Again, it's one of those things where, you know, you'd think you'd have a little bit more riveting on this and some various details onto it. And unfortunately, you catch it on the close up, it is pretty devoid of everything. It's that matte plastic as well, so it doesn't show particularly well on camera. Okay, and then on the inside, we do have some nice details. Unfortunately, it is spoilt or marred, shall we say, by a little plethora of eject pins all over the place. But you're hoping most of those are going to be tucked out of the way somewhat. The actual gauges. Uh, and the various instruments uh, and the framework. Got a little bit of flash on it, a little bit of flash just down on a few of these little parts, but generally not too bad at all. The locating pin's a little bit heavy, shall we say. It's quite a chunky one up here, things like that, for the actual, uh, sorry, sprue pins uh, coming through on there. But generally, not too bad at all. Can't really see. It does just look a little bit soft, if I'm honest. It'll be interesting to see how that actually goes together. I need to get one of the guys to build this one. Uh, into your wing sections, again, looking a little bit more uh, promising under here. We've got a little bit more riveting detail, various things for the actual uh, access hatches, things like that on there. Very nicely done, as you can see on both of those. So no problem there at all. Again, pretty much nothing on the inside because we don't see any of that. Gun bay for the underside and we've got the sort of cow flaps. You can obviously have them open or close. So we've got the both versions of them just down in here. Some of those other ports with the aerials and that. And again, the aerials are a little bit heavily molded, shall we say. But uh, generally, nice level of detail in here. We have got the odd ejector pin in here, which is, again, a little bit nasty that they're showing through. Okay, so down in here, we should get a match pair, I should think, with your left and right. So engine detail, various things right the way over this, as you might imagine. Okay, so we'll just have a run through. So starting at the top. We've got the prop, doesn't look too bad at all. We've got the wheels, we do have a little bit of weight on wheels as well, which is a nice touch. A little bit of bulge tyres on there and obviously framework and things like that for the actual main gear. On the other side we've got some bombs and then obviously we've got the engine detail on there as well. Coming up and again, nice level of detail. It's not, you know, you're not going to go jumping up and down over it, but I think it'd be quite adequate. By the time you've got the prop on and all the details down in here, you have got the veins showing through for the pots, uh, so no problem with those at all. On the back side, no real problems anywhere. Again, at least all the ejector pins are pretty much, there's a couple of little lifted ones just down in here, but generally it's not too bad. Okay, match pair on that one for your left and your right, okay. A couple of small parts come loose there. Okay, so down in here we've got obviously tops of the wings. And again, we do have some various details down in there. That's actually looking quite nice. Nice shaping as well uh, for the actual engine themselves. Very nice indeed. Got the rudder pedals there. Various items. And as we make our way across, we've got the seat. Some of the framework. We've got the pilot figure. And then obviously the sides. 
And then weirdly, we have a giant piece of flash. I haven't seen that before, but uh, first. Okay, and then obviously we've got that section uh, across the wing spar just down in there. And again, nice that we don't have any ejector pins in this actual system along on the flaps or the inner part of that flap set. So that's quite nice that that has been avoided. Okay, then we've got the sprue with obviously more of the control surfaces. We've got the inside of that Bombay uh, and various things going down on here. And again, nice texture on the actual control surfaces on that rudder. It's very matte, so it's very difficult for the light to catch it. I'm just trying to bounce some light off of it so you can see it better. But generally, not too bad at all on any of these. It's quite nice how we've got the fabric showing through the engine cells. Okay, and then over on the other side. You can see nice level of detail, no problem with those. And actually, we're not too bad. So obviously, inside of these uh, the flaps, we've got no eject pins, which is a really nice touch indeed. And again, we seem to be pretty devoid of all anything that's going to get in the way. I think probably most of the ejector pins are going to be hidden out of the way. I can't see anyone obvious that are going to jump in the way and give you a little bit of a heartache. So that's no problem at all. But generally, very nice level of detail right the way through. Okay, clear pots. So, <clears throat> down in here we have the clears. Okay, so it looks like we have two port side clear parts, obviously different versions coming along, things like that. But generally, the parts are pretty clear. You'd expect them to be clear because they're flat, so there's minimal distortion when we're running it around on these, so that's not too bad at all. But the turrets all look pretty good, crystal clear. Good sharp framing as well, which is going to make masking a doddle. Okay, so that's actually very nice because they're good, sharp, crisp details on all of these parts. I can't fault the clear parts at all. They're actually very, very nice. I can't see any problems with those whatsoever. Again, it's just a shame that they're very, very close to the edges uh, on some of these. So just being mindful when you're coming in uh, and gluing that you don't get any bleed and obviously some fogging or anything else like that. And last up, apart from some of the parts coming off, we have this little guy, which I'm not quite sure what he is. There we go, he's come off in the bag somewhere. And there we go, I have to say, it looks really nice. Usual airfix, unfortunately, a little bit soft uh, on the plastic, a little bit soft on the molding, a little bit of burring, um, you know, not as much as we've seen on some of them, uh, but generally it seems to be all very, very nice. The details seem very crisp. Uh, where they need to be. It's just unfortunately on the fuselage you just want a little bit more detail I would say um, but obviously you know some of this is fabric some of it is obviously metal on this particular aircraft as well so it's obviously that fine line between the two when you're adding detail but it wouldn't hurt or take too much to add a little bit more with your own detail re-riveting things like that onto this particular one because again it's one of those ones it's quite flat be quite straightforward to do that but it does look very very nice good level of detail right the way through very nice detail around the actual engine the cells on there with the actual gear and things like that there's lots of detail down there in the cockpit and down on the turret on the rear end and really you can't ask for anything more straight out of the box like that another highlight is those decals they are absolutely lovely so there we go that is the airfix 148 scale bristol blenheim this is the mark 1f it is available through the pm store as well so if you want to go over and grab yourself a bargain, you can pop over that and get it from us direct.